see these guys will come up and sniff, 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 and then wait here long enough, he'll, he'll start licking. And maybe try to nibble a little bit. Do they have rough tongues? Uh, not too bad, no. I'll even offer a finger here to let him. He might bite that. Watch out. But is he? Not really. Uh-uh. See? Is it just like gums? Yeah, he's just gumming it. You know, he just. Now, what if you smacked him upside the head? Would he Why bite? Would I want to do that. No, I'm just saying, if you would, would the pig bite? Well, no, he'd back off and wonder. <laughs> and he wouldn't come up and do this tomorrow. <laughs> okay. So he'd learn not to do yeah. it. Yeah. So he knows so. that you're superior to him. <laughs> I don't know about that. He just knows I'm not a threat. Oh, okay. the, the myth of them just being violent <laughs> is just kind of off the wall. <laughs> so, You ever seen those pigs on Discovery? Uh, oh, you're talking about wild boars? Yeah. It's like saying, I'm raising a whole bunch of um, Cocker Spaniels. And, uh, and and these guys down there are German Shepherds or mm -hmm. something. Or Rottweilers. Yeah, or Rottweilers. And so it's like, yeah, they're both called pigs, but they're not the but same. But they're a different type they're of really animal. different, yeah. Well, that's right, understood. He was nibbling on my shoe. Uh-huh. He was. He was nibbling on my shoe. <laughs> but was not threatening you. Okay. No, but I wasn't going to keep it there, anyway. <laughs> So if we were in a pen of Razorbacks, would they attack? I don't think so. No, they'd be afraid of you too. No kidding. Yeah. I think if you were, if they had a, a litter of babies and you threatened them, that might be a little different story. Mm -hmm. But all in all, if a pig started chasing after you and it was angry, it wouldn't be that hard to get away from it, would it? No. Yeah. No. In fact, I'm not afraid of any of these pigs you know <laughs> just they're not uh they're they really not, don't seem too threatening i'll uh, give you that so, <laughs> so you can see where i was coming from when i was listening to you on the radio <laughs> saying how mean and vicious no. and vile these now let me tell you <laughs> let me defend myself oh try <laughs> i think that my point this morning when we talked about our little excursion out here was that I believe there are probably some nice pigs in the world and some mean pigs in the world, just like humans. I meet mean, a lot of nice people, but okay, there's ones that want... On oh, yeah, we were talking about it this morning. Okay. Because I was defending myself. <laughs> but, you know, there's nice people in the world, but there are some bad dudes hanging around out yeah. there as well. Well, like you say, you just... <laughs> moving the camera around because they keep butting up against me oh. this. <laughs> pigs are nibbling at Kristen, folks. <laughs> Seem like kind pigs, though. I'd like to take one of those babies home, to be honest with you, if I had a spot for it, but I can't. Well, one has its name. Yeah, it does. So, little Christopher. A little Christopher, so uh, we can we can arrange that. <laughs> I don't think my apartment at West Sheridan Avenue in Shenandoah well, would necessarily be a good spot for it. I wouldn't suggest you tell, telling your landlord. Yeah, that'd probably not be a smart idea. No.